Shari here today and I am going to be showing you how I made these cute critter ornaments using the Woodland Critter Hugger die set. So the first thing you want to do is to create your ornaments. So these are just some plastic clear ornaments that you get at the craft store at Christmas. I've got some brown glitter and then the key to make this glittery ornament is going to be floor polish. So I've got some floor polish here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the caps and I've just got some little cups here. These are like cups that you get to go in your bathroom so they're really small. And I was going to show you this ornament because I made this one probably six or seven years ago just to show you that the glitter is going to stay and it's not going to come off. So this little trick is a trick I learned from my friend Mary Dawn. So you just put in some of that floor polish and then I'm just going to roll it around inside and make sure the whole interior is coated. And as I get to this edge that's open here, I'm just going to roll it around over top of that cup so it can drip into that cup. And then I'm just going to put it upside down in that cup so any excess can drip out. I've opened my glitter and I've made a little cone out of some typing paper just so I can make a funnel and get the glitter in there. So I'm just going to pour some of this glitter down into the ball. And then what you want to do is shake it around so that it coats the entire inside of the ball. Now, I eventually got a paper towel, but I didn't have my paper towel just yet, so I'm gonna have some stuff on my hand where I covered up the hole. But you just wanna put the glitter in there and shake it around. You may need some more glitter if you didn't get enough. And then I'm gonna put it upside down on a cup so that excess can come out. So here's another one I did. These are really quick to make. I got a paper towel this time and you just shake it Shake it all around, make sure that glitter coats the entire inside. And then you can just dump out the excess. So this is actually a really good method if you just want to make some custom colored glitter balls for your tree. But we're going to turn these into critters. So once those have set a little bit and dried a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put the cap back on. And I've got some brown felt here and some glitter cardstock. And I'm just gonna pull out some of the pieces to the Woodland Critter cover set. So this is the set I'm gonna use and I'm not gonna use that big piece except for the ears for the box and the raccoon I'm gonna make. I'm gonna use the face. For the ears for the deer, you could cut these off, which is what I'm gonna do for the fox and the raccoon, but I actually thought that this little tail piece made some cute ears for the deer. So I'm just getting out some of the pieces that I'm going to need to cut out the elements for these critter projects here. And I'm actually going to make three different ones in this video. I'm not going to show you all the pieces of every one, but I will show you some of the things I did differently on each one. So we're going to start out with a deer first. So I've made the brown glitter ornament. I'm going to use some felt for the face and the reason I'm doing felt instead of paper is because then it can stretch across that rounded shape very easily. It also gives it some nice texture and some fuzziness. Now this is 100% wool felt and this will cut perfectly with the dyes. The acrylic felt does not cut quite so well with dyes but you can do it if you have some patience. So I've cut out the face and then I'm just going to take those eyes and cut it out. And with the wool felt, it'll cut those little tiny pieces out perfectly. And you can see this will just lay right on the outside of that circle really easily. So here's some other pieces I've cut and I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. I cut a bunch of those little tails and the antlers and I've cut some pieces from gold glitter cardstock as well as brown cardstock and then for the tails that will become ears I've done the same got some from brown cardstock and then I have some from felt I'm going ahead and putting the little felt pink cheeks on there and then for these pieces I'm just going to layer this cardstock together to make a nice stiff cardstock piece so it'll stand up on my reindeer it's going to be two-sided so I'm putting the gold onto the outside and then I'm just going to put the two brown cardstock pieces to the inside. 
So I'm going ahead and putting that gold on there and then I'll just glue these two together. So in all, I've got four pieces of paper together and I've got glitter on both sides. This way, both sides of the ornament will look finished. Now you could put them right behind the top there, but I'm actually going to cut them apart so that I can put them on each side of that top. So I'll just cut off that center piece. And better to cut it after it's all glued together so that everything is the same size. Now for the tail piece that I'm going to make in the ears, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to put felt on both sides and two pieces of cardstock in the middle. I wasn't sure how stiff this needed to be. Turns out on the later ones that I used, I only used one piece of cardstock in the middle, so you didn't actually have to do two. Just depends on how stiff you feel it needs to be. But the cardstock is just to give it some stiffness so that we can glue these and they will stand up. So again, on these, I'm putting felt on both sides and two pieces of cardstock sandwiched in between both those pieces of felt. And these will become ears. So now to glue these pieces to the plastic ball, I'm going to be using hot glue because it's going to stick to that ball really well. So I've just put some hot glue on the back of the face and then I'll just lay that over the shape of the ball. And I've got it sitting in a little cup here so that it doesn't roll around all over my desk. That's very helpful when it's time to put the pieces on. So now for those little ears, I'm just putting glue right on the bottom and because they're nice and stiff and got that cardstock inside, it'll stand up perfectly. Now I can add my antlers right behind those ears and I'm just putting a little glue on the bottom of those as well and making sure I have them on the right side. I'm trying to get all my little glue strings out of the way as well. So I decided to add a little more interest and I used a button for all the noses on my critters that I'm making today. I just thought it added a nice little touch, but you could use the cutout that comes with it. Now I'm using the Critter Hugger Winter add-on and I've cut out the holly leaves and the berries just out of cardstock, just to add a little more Christmas touch to these critters. And I'm just going to glue that right onto the metal top that goes on the ornament. You'll see on some of the other ones I glued it to the ears, but just glue it wherever works. I just think it looks really great right along the top there. Now this one is a fox, so I've used some coppery colored glitter on the inside, and then I'm going to add a tail to the back of this one. And I am just using one piece of cardstock between my two pieces of felt. That was stiff enough for me. I'm just going to add that little cream colored tip to the tail and I'm putting it on both sides again so that it looks finished from either side. And then for this guy, I did use the ears from the Critter Hugger. So you can see I've just cut the top of it. They're still connected. I've done the same with some felt that I'm going to put on both sides. And I kept it together while I did this just so I didn't have to line up as many pieces. And now once those are glued together, you can trim off the ears because that's the only part you need. And I'm just cutting a little bit more of a rounded bottom to them. But honestly, with the hot glue, even if it is straight and not perfectly shaped like the ornament, it'll still stick really well. So I'm just going to add those little ears in. And these are with a dark orange felt. And then I did the tail with a lighter orange just for some difference between the two. And I'm going to add the tail right directly to the back of the ball so it kind of peeks out from behind. Just like if that was the tail on one of the huggers right in the center. I don't want it sticking out too far, and I think this is the perfect placement.
I added the little button for the nose on him, and then I'm just going to add the little holly just to the outside of one of his ears so he has a Christmas touch as well. I think the fox might be one of my favorites. I just like that coppery orange color. Now for the third one, I did a little raccoon and I've already glued his mask on here, but his eyes really needed to be black to sort of stand out. The other ones looked okay without doing this. So I'm just carefully placing some black cutout eyes into the negative space that was left on the little mask. You could also add some eyes just to the front of it without doing this, even like googly eyes if you wanted, or you could use buttons for eyes, like we're using the buttons for nose. But I wanted all their eyes to be consistent, so that's why I chose to do this the way I did. Now I'm adding the little cutout nose to him, and I'm going to actually cover the nose part up with a button so it's consistent, but I liked having the little mouth below. So I will go ahead and add the button nose, the little rosy cheeks, a tail, and the holly, just like on the fox. So here is the little deer that I made, and here is the raccoon, and then here is the cute little fox. Here's a look at them hanging on my Christmas tree. I think these would be fun to customize and give to friends, and even to do them in non-traditional colors, like maybe pinks and teals would be fun. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.